Hey, hi everyone. We're back on the damn horse, ready to be uh, terrible again. Today, <laughs> we're gonna do a window shopping for Boohoo, which is a brand that I feel like I'm supposed to like because even now still, even though this has been a trend for years, this is like the brand that I feel like every plus size fashion influencer talks about, like it's the be all end all clothing brand. And actually, unlike Pretty Little Thing, which I find has a very similar reputation among plus size fashion creators that I follow, I actually have purchased clothes from Boohoo before. It was three years ago and I hated them so much. I thought they were horrific quality and didn't fit me very well. So I already have a bit of a bone to pick with Boohoo. And also I hate their website. This is too much text. I feel like I'm taking the SATs. I kind of get now why people talk about Boohoo so often. This stuff is borderline free. I love fast fashion. Okay. Oh my God. Sorry, <laughs> my Google Translate extension popped up. Polyglot problems. <laughs> it's Italian perché ho passato un anno in Firenze per scuola. Anyway, this is the plus slouchy self belted jumpsuit. I feel like a part of me takes umbrage with buying an article of clothing that is designed to look like two different articles of clothing. I also don't understand this pants length at all. Get into this. <laughs> this is how my sweatpants fit me when I've put them in the dryer too many times. And you want me to intentionally buy a garment with legs that are too short, babes? It's just not realistic. Thank you so much, but no, okay. Yes, see, this is fun. This is a good top for if you have a date at seven and you have to go to like a civil war reenactment at 7.30 and you're the little trumpet boy who leads everyone into battle. This is a PSA to anyone who is planning on spending 21 American dollars on this blouse. They have people you can talk to. You can talk to me, I'll listen to you. I'll tell you not to buy this blouse, so the conversation's kind of a foregone conclusion, but you can still talk to me. I'm not sure what purpose this serves other than to serve a very small community of people who like to dress like they are a Victorian baby. Um, don't wear this. Instead, might I recommend any other shirt. The only reason I'm allowing this shirt that says cutie with a booty to exist without destroying it and everything around me is because this is a pajama set and I'm okay with wearing cringy shirts to bed where only God can see me. Do you love the idea of wearing a shirt that literally advertises my butt that is long enough to cover my butt? Um, that doesn't make any sense and I kind of respect that. I love how surprised this model looks. She's like, oh, this is the completed garment you want me to wear? This isn't like a, <laughs> like a muslin underdress that you just like put on as a placeholder. This is like the actual photo. Okay, she's unsettled and I get it. What's her name? Katie, no, Miranda, but with an E instead of an I, like M-E-R. A-N, Miranda, anyway. And I'm being mean, I don't even hate this in black. It's just this particular cream color, it's giving very much Laura Ingalls Wilder. Oh my God, did anyone else read like the Little House on the Prairie series when they were a kid? And in that first book, when it was like, the winter was coming and the dad was drying and curing all of the meats and he gave her and her sister a pig's bladder, but inflated and they kicked it around like it was a soccer ball. <laughs> Early America sounds like it sucks so much. I'm glad I was born in the future. Anyway, my dress is hitty, baby. These are some big pants. Oh, these pants are huge. Uh, I think Miranda's vibing with this a little bit more. She still looks a little surprised, but girl, she's so pretty. I love her brows. Oh my God, good for you, Miranda. Not this color. Ma'am. <laughs> Oh, it's buying this color of pants. This is if you have to go to basic training for the army, but you're super stylish. I'm biased because I hate brown clothes and I hate wide leg pants. So this is like if somebody were to genetically engineer a piece of clothing that I'm gonna hate. Not this, not this. Why do clothing brands love putting random French and animal prints on plus size clothing? Imagine charging $12 for this originally and still thinking you're going to see heaven. Couldn't be me. Another thing that I'm biased about, I do not like the big t-shirt bicycle short thing because it doesn't look good on me, which means no one is allowed to wear it. I'm kidding, other people can wear it. Like when I see people out and about in the big t-shirt bicycle shorts combo, I'm like, yes, loungewear, yes, athleisure. You look so relaxed. I'm so sorry. Not this, not the lace insert blazer dress. Oh, absolutely not. Where are you wearing this? To what event? Actually, you know what? I think this could be a fun game. I think this could be a fun little game. Guys, comment below. <laughs> 
where, if anywhere, you would wear this dress. And don't say to your own funeral, because that's my answer. Um, hi, these shoes are immaculate. Actually, these shoes make me like the outfit more. You know what? Miranda, you've convinced me. Yes, these hoops too. These huge hoops and the flat ironed hair. She actually looks amazing. I take back everything I said. This dress is wonderful. Let's just look at the shoes again. <gasps> They're so gorgeous. Okay, one more time. <gasps> Girl, the way that I love heels, I swear. Can we pick a struggle, please? I hate when clothing brands put every single trend together at the same time. We don't need to have the cold shoulder, the polka dot, the high neckline, the three quarter sleeve, and the peplum. First of all, do we ever need a cold shoulder? I don't think so. Also, I don't like how the seaming here makes it look like this is like a little skirt that this is tucked into. Like they look like separate garments. It's just unnecessarily bulky. I kind of vibe with it in white, I'm not gonna lie. I should have lied. That makes it seem like my taste is terrible. Ew. <laughs> Do you know where you wear this? You know where you wear this garment too? If they were gonna do like a reboot, a remake of Charlie Brown and the Great Pumpkin and you got invited to the red carpet premiere party, you're wearing this fit. And you know what? You're gonna look good. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Zendaya adjacent model. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. Your makeup is so pretty. Yeah, it better be 54% off, are you kidding? <laughs> That's such a specific percentage. I love it. <laughs> Does this just say witchcraft on it? Witchcraft, yeah. This is just a shirt with the word witchcraft on it, which I think is a little funny because it's like if you just wore a shirt that said sports or just like a really generic genre of thing to do. I've had witches comment on my videos before and they're very nice people. And they're not wearing, actually they might be. Why am I trying to speak for the witch community? Witches. Leave in the comments below. Are you gonna buy this shirt? Wow, I've, we're doing a lot of call and response today. Oh my God, my engagement's gonna be bananas. I'm sorry, pardon? Shoulder pad t-shirt? Have you guys known about this and none of you told me? Was anyone gonna tell me that shoulder pad t-shirts exist or was I just supposed to find out from this window shopping video that I'm currently filming? This is so ugly and I'm tickled pink. This is so hideous and not this like long, what? So everyone can see how pilled and sweat stained my bras are? No. Why a shoulder pad t-shirt? And have we considered not doing that? I just think we should keep our options open. Real shit? I want this sweater. I like this a lot. <laughs> I think this is so cute. Is it because my friend, this is my friend now. I've decided I'm friends with this model. Is it because my friend's wearing it? Maybe. She's gorgeous. Good for you, sis. I love this. This is $22. Of course, I find the one thing that's not literally six bucks and that's the thing I want. Anyway, ma'am, girl, not this Logan's Run, Soylent Green is people. This looks like something you'd be forced to wear by the government in a dystopian future. This, look, you know what this looks like? <gasps> This looks like something Universal Standard would sell. If you don't know what Universal Standard's clothing looks like, that joke's not gonna land, so I'm making sure you understand what I mean. I'm about to end this store's whole career. Was I wrong? Are you gonna sit there and tell me that I'm wrong? <laughs> By the way, I'm not comparing, you know, I'm not comparing Boohoo and Universal Standard as brands. I love what Universal Standard stands for. I love the idea of Universal Standard. And you know what? If they ever email me talking about some, will you model for us? I will delete every bad thing I've ever said about them so fast. And you can, that is a promise. You can take that to the bank and that check will cash. But I can say, I think their clothing is kind of bland and ugly, especially this. Oh God, this dress boils my blood. This is the Geneva dress from Universal Standard. And I think it is absolutely hideous. I've never seen an image of it that did not make me want to commit Larceny. This dress looks like if you were wearing a regular shapeless maxi dress and then you went to the bathroom and then when you were leaving the bathroom, you accidentally got part of your dress stuck in your panties. Okay, I gotta calm down. This isn't even about universal standard. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Let's go back to Boohoo. I hate this. Okay, this is hot. This is like such an awesome dress. <laughs> Girl, what? Is your back okay? Did they make you stand like that or did you just choose to? Baby girl, your spine. I love this dress. Cause you know what? It's probably cause she th she knows she looks good. She's like, period. She's not even posing. She is, she's at such an angle. <laughs> girl.
girl, is your name Alphaba? Because you are defying gravity with this pose. How are you holding this and still upright? This ankle is doing more work than the entire United States government, and I salute her. Baby. No, not this. This t-shirt with like a lace doily collar detail, this is the kind of thing that girls in high school who didn't really like dressing up would wear to special events. This is horrible. Burn it in all the colorways. Get rid of it. Awful. Baby, I'm sorry they did this to you. Girl, yes, these brows and her makeup is so pretty. Queen. No. See how sad she looks? Me too. We're on the same wavelength. Oh baby, every single trend does not have to be on one garment. Did we need to have the mesh sleeves and this little frill and the buttons and the smocked waistline? No. And it sucks because this is a cute color and this dress could be cute if it was just a little simpler. That's always my thing with stores like this. There's always one too many design elements and oh my God. God, that just blew out my retinas. That is such a bright red. There's always one extra design element that I just think is wildly unnecessary. Who put her in this hairstyle with this dress? You do not wear a half up ponytail with hair in the front with a dress like this. You wear a severe updo or a top knot or a pony or hair down sleek center parted behind the shoulders. Do I have to do everything for this brand? Makeup is gorgeous. Whoever's doing their makeup, Academy Award. I know this is a website and not a movie. Do it anyway, I don't care. Wait a second, is this that same lace collar but on an oversized horizontal stripe sweat dress? This is so weird, because without that collar, this is such a normal garment that I think I would be fine with, but this collar just makes it look so goofy. Ugh, yuck. Like, I don't get it. Every time I see something like this that has goofy knotting down low, on the garment, because y'all remember that sweater. It had a knot in it as well, and I liked it because my friend was in it. But when it's this low, when it sits below the natural waist, this doesn't look good on anyone. It makes the shirt look like it's caught in the fly of your jeans. I don't, it's never made any goddamn sense to me. <laughs> Even for $8. But imagine paying 18 bucks for this. I wonder if this is one of the situations where it was never $18 and they just say that so it seems like the discount is really, really good. Because I don't think anyone at Boohoo is bold enough to take a shirt this ugly and be like, yeah, we're gonna make people pay nearly $20 for it. As a British brand, that seems like it could maybe trigger an international incident. Americans are very sensitive. <laughs> to all the British people in the comments wanting to agree with me on that, you're right, but you know, Watch your mouth. Uh, excuse me? Miranda, you let them put you in this baby. <laughs> you know when I would have worn this? When I was in seventh grade and just discovered baby doll tops and like stuff with empire waist because I was insecure about my stomach because I was a girl in seventh grade and you kind of have to be, it's the law. I would have looked at this and been like, this would be so cute with my black boot cut jeans from Kohl's, my Skechers Mary Janes, my blue Alme eyeshadow and <laughs> just the right Blair Waldorf inspired headband. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him at this Catholic school dance. <laughs> I've seen it as a sweat dress, a t-shirt, and now you're making me look at it again as a dress? This is why the Revolutionary War happened, cause it, <laughs> cause it's stuff like this. Taxes? No. It's because even back then, <laughs> y'all were, were doing stuff like this. And we were like, oh no, we gotta get out of here. Somebody write a declaration of independence or something. I'm just taking the piss, it's just banter, it's not serious love, don't worry. <laughs> it's just jokes, it's just chatter. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my mind. I can't handle this anymore, it's so ugly. Stop putting this collar on stuff, boo, I'm at my limit. I like the idea of this shirt, like I love a lacy tank top, I really do. Something about this, I think the lace is just a little bit too long and it has these like little distressed tendrils coming off of it to look a little bit more casual and lived in. But it just kind of looks like a weird growth that's like emanating from the shirt. It looks so strange. It looks like hairy. She, look, she just noticed it. She's like, really? <laughs> I thought I looked cute. She just noticed it too. Girl, her eye makeup is immaculate. She looks so good. Oh my goodness. She's like, she's fine. Then she catches it from a different angle and sees how much better it looks without the lace. 
And then this is when she turns back around and she's like, damn it, this lace is too goddamn long. That's what this progression is. I'll put money on it. Why is this in the sale section? This is cute. I would wear this, actually. This is 15 bucks and it's like definitely available in my size. Okay, we might have to revisit this because that, I like this. I know it's like very niche, but it's not even Halloween yet. So, hey, <laughs> very niche. <laughs> That's what they call me, niche piece. <laughs> Can I talk about this? I hate shirts that have intentional knots on them so much. And I do knot a lot of my shirts, especially my t-shirts, my sweatshirts, because I like to force the world to look at my stomach. When it's actually part of the garment and it just has these two flaccid cloth phalluses hanging down that you have to top. I just despise it, especially because I like to tie stuff at the waist and not at my hips or at my stomach. And these are all always at the bottom of the shirts and they're full length shirts. The point of tying a shirt, at least in my experience, is to give myself waist definition. So having a tie at the very bottom of the shirt where my hips are at the widest point of my body is not really giving what I think you guys want me to give. Do you know what I mean? So every time I see these, it does make me want to kick a person. Stop. Stop it. No. Uh, oh God. Somehow this makes it more offensive. <laughs> Dude, this is so cute. Oh my God. I love this dress. We might have to revisit this. Miranda, girly, I knew you wouldn't steer me wrong. We're friends now, me and Miranda. What if the actual model from this sees this video and she's like, that's literally not my name. My name's Gemma. <laughs> Not only is All My Basic Witches a stupid thing to put on a shirt, I'm obsessed with the fact that the witches, even though they're like in cartoon silhouette, are like hot. This witch is in a little flirty little skirt. She's got heels on, she's hitting this pose. This witch is in profile. She's showing you the heels. She's got a long dress on, but she's making sure you see the yams. This witch, I'm a little confused about because she's clearly got heels on and a short skirt, but she appears to be wearing some sort of top hat? I don't quite know what that hat is supposed to be. Maybe she's like a, ma uh, like a magician that hangs out with these two witches and they let her hang because she's pretty. I don't know. I also guess this is supposed to be a broom. It looks a little bit more like a lacrosse net. No. Yeah, lacrosse. Wait, not lacrosse. High lie. <laughs> or maybe like a really long karaoke microphone. Do I not know what lacrosse is? Hold on. Oh no, they have the little net sticks. You know what? You know what I was thinking? This is what I was thinking of. Yeah, okay. Highlight is an entirely different thing. Girl, I was thinking of cricket. <laughs> I was thinking of cricket because I was thinking of these little bats and I was like, does it lacrosse these bats? No, girl, that's cricket. <laughs> I was right, it was lacrosse. It looks like she's holding a lacrosse net. Okay. We're back on track now. She's a lacrosse player. We love it. This shirt is so dumb. It is great representation for folks who want to dress like a first sewing project. Oh my goodness, what is this? This was my favorite color when I was like 11. I loved this dull purple color. It was so bland. No one ever looked at me when I wore it. It was amazing. This is the exact kind of shirt that I would have worn when I was an insecure 11 year old. It's long sleeve. It's the blandest color imaginable, but it's got some lace on it. So like when I sit next to my crush in math class, it's like, I am actually a little fashionable. These pants are great if you don't have a bunch of micro glitter all around your apartment. Um, and you want a bunch of micro glitter all around your apartment. So this is a perfect shortcut, you know? Like you just put on these pants, take four steps, and now you live inside of a Kesha music video from 2010. This is a great outfit for if you ever need to sneak into a hospital, you can just put this on and they'll be like, oh, clearly you have left your room without being told to. They're like, hey, why did you poke all these holes into your hospital gown? <laughs> Why did you do that to your hospital? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, perfect. It's in my size. <laughs> in any other color, this would be fine. But the powder blue, what else is that shade of blue aside from what <laughs> guess? So you can look like you're in the hospital. Oh, I'm sorry, this is a British brand. You can look like you're in hospital. All right, you guys, I think I'm finished. I think I may have actually had my mind changed a little bit about Boohoo. I was very cold to them at the beginning, but I think after what I've seen here, I can 
I can change that, you know? I can bring that all the way up to lukewarm. Wait, I have an idea. I'm gonna do something cute. I'm gonna do, are you ready for me to do something cute? Those are selfies from the other day. Don't worry about it. But hi, isn't this like endearing and genius? Now I can do an actual proper sign off that you can see. Thanks so much for watching this video, but before you leave, I'm gonna need you to do a quick favor for me. If you could go ahead and have an amazing day for me, that would be incredibly stylish. And if you'd like to interact with me betwixt uploads, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Nisi Pisa. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to use code Nisi Pisa for 10% off at checkout at your local unframed poster store. Bye. The person I'm seeing made fun of my posters for not having frames. Romance is a sham. Bye.